Hello and welcome back to The Walking Dead. We wanted to talk with Lily and Larry, so let's do it. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? I uh, really I hope so. I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? They'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I'm sorry, I... What the hell is wrong with your eyes, Larry? <laughs> yeah. Uh, take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Yeah, actually, I do, more or less. Um, You're here. a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. That's it? You don't reply anything? Hey. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. That's right. And the other ones would be still with us and... Hmm. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. What do I? How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. I understand that. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? <laughs> no. A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, Oh no. Leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong. It's okay, I understand. It's okay. Can I talk to you too? <laughs> no, you don't want to talk to me, okay. I'm fine with this. Okay, then let's see how Mark is. Can I go over here? Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. If you do, yeah. I'm not convinced of this yet. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. I would sleep there. Lots of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for marrows, if that becomes a problem. Good point. God, I remember that. So let's look after Mark. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? 
The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. No. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. We think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Not really. Not now. We'll go in a few minutes. Just need to check on a few but things. Revenge is the uh, sure, that's wrong understandable. Choice. Talk things over with your group. Just come find us when you're ready. I'll do that. Can't we solve it otherwise somehow? Huh, okay, but I think we got pretty much everything else here. Wait, look it at the house. Okay in there. Yeah, me too. I want to go inside and look after him. <sighs> but okay. Let's go and find these bandits. Hey, Lee. Change your mind about going out to track down Not the really, but I guess I have to. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? Nobody's home. Oh, you don't want to... No, but I really don't think that this is a good idea. You see anybody? Hmm. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Uh-oh. How about pushing it up there? Ah. Clear. This camp's too small can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Okay. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Nothing but fumes. Shit. We won't steal from them. What's right? in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Hmm. This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Milk? Or something? Boxes from the dairy here. What? Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Oh. 
Huh. Why did you do that? Hmm. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Looks like they expected to be here a while. But not anymore. Where are they? Empty. Everything's empty. Something's wrong, right? What's this? A camera? Where it's first? Nothing. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move Take on. care. Don't do something. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. Just water. With steam. Uh, what do I miss? Trash. Yuck. I don't need that. Um... Can I go inside? Nah? Yes, I can. Or at least look inside. Footsteps? Was imagining things again? Oh, blood. Oh, man. Oh, man. Jesus, there's a kid mixed up in this? Oh, probably not anymore, well, huh? Like. <laughs> yeah. Huh? The hell? Oh. <laughs> shit! Put your Holy shit! I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting you as long as we out, gave you woman. food. What the fuck happened? Huh. We had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> uh. Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her! So what if I did? You stole her from me! 
What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn uh... person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill no, me. No, no. They please tried. take your Whatever. weapon away, okay? Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for us. God damn it! Why? You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Yeah, and you shot her. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. No. Still, what a waste. <sighs> so, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they so, are. So, that's it. I don't like you. Go tromping through the woods looking for them. So, yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. You can't just... murder this woman. You can't murder just random people. Even when they're... Come on. When they're threatening you. That's not okay. Hey, Lee, you got that hat for Clementine? I hope so. What was she talking about? Clementine stole Man, her. That was a hell of a ride, huh? Stole it from Jesus her. I don't what? think. You ain't getting soft on them, are you? So not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. Well. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Hmm. <sighs> Uh, don't mind them, it's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. What about Mark? Go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. But how is Mark? Why didn't you ask? This is strange, isn't it? I think it is. Well, at least you got the head. Pardon me, Brenda. What's on your mind, Lee? How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. But still... Don't you think this is suspicious? I do, and I want to see Mark right now. Uh, not to be rude, ma'am. How come you're out here instead of, you know? <laughs> oh, you want to know why I'm not slaving away in the kitchen? Is that it? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Oh, it's okay, darling. Got it slow cooking in the oven. Should be ready before too long. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own.
Why did you make a deal with those people? We got a threat of humanity left, Lee. We can do more good without them in our hair by placating them. So that's what we do. I think I'll go have a look around. Kind of peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Huh. But we have to end this episode. I want to s see Mark. Why can't I see him? I just want to know if he's safe and, and how he's doing and I don't know. A thunderstorm? Or is it just the wind? Thunderstorms are cool. <sighs> okay, enough for now. Thank you for watching and see you on the next part. Bye!